Hey friend, in this video, I am going to be doing a quick little demo using a round brush, painting my signature florals and using my brand new collaborative between me and my Mary Blue six color pigment set that you can buy from Blick or Amazon if you wanna check out my Mary Blue. So I'm only gonna be using these six colors in this demo and I'll be painting a loose floral piece using a variety of colors. This video is sponsored by my Mary Blue. So if you're ready, then let's dive in. So I've got my size six round brush from Princeton Heritage, their 4050 series. And I'm gonna be working with quinacridone red and painting some loose styled roses and flowers. So I'm mixing quinacridone red with some permanent red light. This is one of my favorite color combinations together for my florals, just a little pinky red. And I'm just adding a little bit of water so it's a milky kind of creamy consistency and then just outlining the lip or the bowl area of the rose first and then using the side of the brush to fluff up and add these little textury bits um, for petals in the center of the bowl or the back side of the bowl and then just pulling away from the center of the flower for these little skirt petals on my open roses they could even be peonies but just using the flexibility of watercolor and these beautiful pigments with using a good amount of water and a good brush um, is really a dream. So I've been adding a few of my lighter petals around the sides and the back pe row of petals in the flower so that it feels further away, feels fluffier in the center and tighter in the center. And then once I have my first flower down, I'm gonna mix up a slightly less um, yellowy green by adding green gold and some Prussian blue. This is just gonna help richen up the green, make it a bit more of like a sap green color. So if you have the six color set, you will have green gold and Prussian blue. So you can mix up a whole variety and range of greens by doing this. I also added some primary yellow to the mixture to brighten it and make it more of a yellowy green. So I'm gonna add in some leaves just painting in some stems, pointing, making sure to point back to the center of the flower with my stems. And then I'm adding pressure and gradually releasing pressure towards the tip of the leaf to paint in these leaves. And I like to mix up my values for all of my petals and my leaves so they're not all the same value or even tone or hue. So with these colors, I'm either adding water to the mixture or I'm adding paint to the mixture to thicken it, to make it darker and more opaque. And then I'm gonna paint another flower down here with the same mixture, maybe a little bit more pink with this this time, just to shift the hue just a little bit. And I'm painting in these little petal shapes with the round brush to create kind of a bowl shape that's smaller and tighter. And then teardrop shaped petals on the front of the flower and then just kind of the tops of petals in the back utilizing white space to show separation between petals, but also making sure that they're not super far apart from each other, making it look like a puffy cloud or popcorn or something. So going back in towards the center and cleaning up some of those spots and darkening some areas so that it feels more dense. And the overall shape is this ball shape in the center for the bud. And then the skirt is just a circle all around the bud. So follow that shape and make sure all of your petals are pointing back to the same spot and you'll be good. And I'm just trying to follow a curve between those two flower elements. So I've got a stem kind of connecting or at least give, letting your eyes connect the dots between those two flowers by showing that curve. And before I get too carried away with leaves, I'm gonna paint another flower before it gets too dense. Still using the same exact brush, the size six round brush, and also obviously the same six colors from the My Mary Blue set that I did with them. This color, or this flower, has more quinacridone red than it does permanent red light. And I've got much lighter values for my fluffy petals on the outsides. A little bit more of a yellow green. And just noting where my elements are starting to line up, covering up any areas where I don't want stiff lines. 
or things to line up too perfectly. Fluffing up those areas with these little berry bits using the side of the size six brush and just kind of circle motions like you're brushing your teeth motions around to fluff, add these fluffy berries and some primary yellow and some permanent red light for these berry colors. And that's already starting to look really nice and thick. And so I'm gonna go back to some greenery, adding more leaves before I get too carried away with these berries. Because otherwise we won't be able to add our leaves back to areas that we have already painted on. So I like to go section by section, bit by bit. And before I get too carried away, stop and move on. So another little cluster of leaves, helping bring people's eyes down to this bottom left corner. Using the tip of the brush for my thin strokes and the belly of the brush for any thick strokes like leaves or fluffy petals. Kind of mimicking that same motion we did for our berries with the leaves around the berries because they'd be smaller and more textured. Adding in a few more flowers to make this really dense feeling. So I love using all of these pigments in all their different values and consistencies, but one of my favorite consistencies is the cream consistency where you get it to literally mimic what heavy cream would feel like on paper. And this is where I feel like my Mary's colors really shine because of how velvety they are and how rich the color is. And so you'll see a lot of my work has a lot of that type of value or consistency. So just adding in a few more berries and leaves and a couple more flowers and we're gonna call it a day on this painting. Making sure all of my florals mimic the bowl shape. And as I paint a flower, I'm painting my leaves, then my berries to make sure I'm keeping it organic and loose. So much fun color, so much fun shape to look at. love, love working with these values and this consistency and these fun colors from my Mary. So beautiful. I hope that was helpful for you and fun to watch and a little tempting for you to buy our new set with my Mary Blue. Shameless plug because I'm very proud of this set. It has my packaging on it and everything. And so make sure you go check that out at jennarainey.com forward slash Blick or forward slash Amazon. And I hope you can get your hands on this and thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.